In this video, I'll give you some examples of spot price and constant product AMM. This applies to both Uniswap B2 and B3. I'll also show you that if the spot price of one token is P, then the spot price of the other token will be 1 divided by P. Let's start off with Uniswap B2. X is the amount of token A in the pool, and Y is the amount of token B inside the pool. From the previous video, we derived that the price of token B in terms of token A, we'll name it P of Y, is equal to Y divided by X. The amount of token B in the pool divided by the amount of token A. Now we could have run through the same argument for token A, and we'll get the price of token A in terms of token B, we'll name it P of X, is equal to X divided by Y. Here, notice that the price of the two tokens are the reciprocal of each other. If we let P equal to Y divided by X, then P of Y is equal to P, and P of X is equal to 1 divided by P. P of Y and P of X are the reciprocal of each other. If you know the price of one token, then the price of the other token is 1 divided by the price. We will revisit this equation again when we derive the time-weighted average price in Uniswap B3. Okay, so let's see some examples of P of Y and P of X in Uniswap B2. Let's say that there are 30,000 dice and 10 ETH inside Uniswap B2 pool. What is the price of ETH in terms of die? Here ETH is Y and die is X, so we're trying to find P of Y, which is equal to Y divided by X, and this will be equal to 10 ETH over 30,000 die. We can cancel out the zeros and say 1 ETH over 3000 DAI. So what is the price of ETH in terms of DAI? Well, it is equal to 1 ETH is equal to 3000 DAI. Let's look at another example. What is the price of DAI in terms of ETH? DAI is X and ETH is Y. So here we're looking for P of X. P of X by definition is equal to X divided by Y. This is equal to 30,000 DAI divided by 10 ETH. So this will be equal to, again, the zeros cancel out, and this will be equal to 3,000 DAI over 1 ETH. So what is the price of DAI in terms of ETH? Well, it is 3,000 DAI equals 1 ETH. Or divide both sides by 3000 and we get 1 die is equal to 1 over 3000 ETH. If I have 1 over 3000 above ETH, then this is equal to 1 die. Now this example also applies to Uniswap B3, except that there is a slight difference. In Uniswap B2, X and Y are actual amounts of token inside the pool. Whereas in Uniswap B3, X and Y are virtual amounts. In Uniswap B3, this is called virtual reserves. So what are virtual reserves? Well, virtual reserve means that only some of the amounts are actually there inside the pool. Let's say that in Uniswap B2, we have X amount of token A and Y amount of token B. These are actual amounts that are inside the pool. However, in Uniswap B3, some of these amounts are virtual. The actual amount that is inside the pool might be less than the virtual reserves. For example, X sub R is the real amount inside this pool and x of b is the virtual amount. When you add these together, you get the full amount of x. Likewise for the quantity y. Some of them are real and the others are virtual amounts. Amounts of token that actually do not exist inside the pool. We can write x in terms of the real amount and the virtual amount. The virtual reserve x is equal to the virtual amount of token a plus the real amount of token a. Likewise, the virtual reserve of y is equal to the virtual amount of token b plus the real amount of token B. I'll make another video about how the virtual reserves are calculated and how this graph is also determined. But for now, we'll ignore the details. What I want you to remember in this video is that we let P equal to Y divided by X, then P of Y, the price of token B in terms of token A is equal to P, and the price of token A in terms of token B is equal to one divided by P. This holds for both Uniswap B3 and Uniswap B2. We will visit this equation again when we derive the time-weighted average price in Uniswap B3.